Hello there. How are my favorite children? I hope you've had a wonderful day. Did you do anything fun? Have any fun activities outside, maybe? I hope so. Tonight, I'm going to share a very special story with you. This is the type of story that they call a legend. Legends are stories that may have happened at one point. They may have been true. Nobody really knows because they've been told so many times over so many years. And this story is the same thing. This is a story that has been told for hundreds of years about a little boy called Giovanni. He was poor, he was homeless, but he could do something wonderful. He could juggle. The name of the story is The Clown of God, an old story told and illustrated by Tommy DePaula. Parents, if you're interested in buying this story, you can purchase it at the link provided below. All right, are you ready? Let's read it. Many, many years ago in Sorrento, there lived a small boy named Giovanni who had no mother and no father. He dressed in rags and begged his bread and slept in doorways. He was happy, and he could do something wonderful. He could juggle. Every day he would go to Signor Baptista's fruit and vegetable stall and juggle. He would juggle lemons and oranges, apples and eggplants, and even zucchini. All of those fruits and vegetables that he'd have going in the air. Do you know what an eggplant is? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of eating eggplant myself. Crowds would gather to watch, and when Giovanni had finished, they would buy from Signor Baptista. Then Signor Baptista's wife would give Giovanni a bowl of hot soup. It was a very good arrangement. One day, a troop of traveling players came to town, and Giovanni watched as Arlino and Colombina, in their beautiful clothes, danced and sang. Oh, Giovanni said to himself, that is the life for me. So when the play was over, Giovanni went and spoke to the maestro. No, no, said the maestro, I have no need for a ragamuffin. Go a beg your bread somewhere else. But I could be very helpful, pleaded Giovanni. I could help unpack and pack up. I could take care of the donkey and maestro, added Giovanni. I can juggle. Not bad, said the maestro watching. With a bit more training and practice, all right. But no money. A place to sleep, the companionship of the finest players in Italy, and a bowl of noodles, that's all. Grazie, signor, said Giovanni. Go get your things. We leave in an hour, said the maestro. And so Giovanni said goodbye to Signor and Signora Baptista and became a traveling player. Not long after, the maestro gave him a costume, and Giovanni juggled for the crowds. He would put on a clown's face, step out from the curtain before the play began, bow, open up a colorful bag, roll out a carpet, and begin. He would juggle sticks, plates. Then he would balance the plates on the sticks and twirl them. He would juggle clubs, rings, and burning torches. Have you ever seen anybody do something like that? Juggling plates and sticks with the plates on top of them? How about clubs and torches that are lit? That's quite a lot of talent. I know I couldn't do that. Finally, he would toss a red ball and an orange ball, then a yellow ball, a green, a blue, and a violet ball, until it looked as if he were juggling the rainbow. And now for the sun in the heavens, he would cry. Still juggling, he would pick up a shining golden ball and toss it higher and higher, faster and faster. And how the crowds would cheer. Giovanni became very famous, and it wasn't long before he said goodbye to the traveling troupe and set off on his own. Up and down Italy he traveled, and although his costume became more beautiful, 
he always kept the face of a clown. Once he juggled for a duke, once for a prince, and it was always the same. First the sticks, then plates, then the clubs, rings, and burning torches. Finally, the rainbow of colored balls. And now for the sun in the heavens, he would shout. And the golden ball would fly higher and higher, and the crowds would laugh and clap and cheer. One day, between two towns, Giovanni was sitting in the shade of a tree, eating a lunch of bread and cheese. Two little brothers came down the road. The little brothers that they're talking about here in the story were two men who were monks. Monks were part of the Catholic Church, and they went around trying to help people. Will you share your food with us, good clown? they asked. For the love of God and the blessing of our brother Francis. Well, sit down, good fellows, Giovanni said. There is more than enough. As the three men ate, the two little brothers told Giovanni how they went from town to town, begging their food and spreading the joy of God. Our founder, Brother Francis, says that everything sings of the glory of God. Why, even your juggling, said one of the brothers. <laughs> That's well and good for men like you. But I only juggle to make people laugh and applaud, Giovanni said. It's the same thing, the brothers said. If you give happiness to people, you give glory to God as well. <laughs> if you say so, said Giovanni, laughing. But now I must be off to the next town. Arrivederci, good brothers, and good luck. And wherever Giovanni went, the air was filled with his flying sticks and plates, his clubs and rings and torches, and always his rainbow of balls and the sun in the heavens. And wherever Giovanni went, the faces of the crowds would be all smiles, and the sound of laughter and cheers would ring through the towns. Years passed. Giovanni grew old, and times became hard. People no longer stopped to watch. It's only the old clown who juggles things. We've all seen him before, they said. Giovanni was sad. But still he juggled until one day he dropped the sun in the heavens. And the rainbow of balls came crashing down and the crowd stood around him and laughed. But not from joy. Then they did a terrible thing. They threw vegetables and stones at Giovanni so that he had to run for his life. It's really sad when people do terrible things especially when they do it to someone because they made a mistake. We should never punish somebody for making a mistake, because we all make them. It's really sad what happened to Giovanni. Beside a stream, Giovanni took off his clown face. He put away his sticks and his plates, his clubs and rings and colored balls. He put away his costume, and he gave up juggling forever. What little money he had soon was gone, and his clothes became rags, and he begged his bread and slept in doorways as he had done as a child. It's a time to go home, the old man said wearily, and he headed back to Sorrento. It was a cold winter night when he finally arrived. The wind blew hard, and an icy rain was falling. Up ahead loomed the monastery church of the little brothers, and the windows were in darkness. Wet and cold, old Giovanni crept inside and fell in a heap in a corner. Soon he was asleep. It was the music that woke him up. The church was blazing with candlelight and filled with people singing, Gloria! Gloria! Giovanni could scarcely believe his eyes. So much beauty! A long procession of brothers, priests, sisters, and townspeople, all carrying beautiful gifts, was winding its way through the church. They placed their gifts in front of a statue of a lady and her child. What is all this? 
asked old Giovanni of someone standing near. Why, old man, it's the birthday of the holy child, the woman said. It's the procession of the gifts. So do you know what the statue is that they're talking about? The statue of a lady and her child? It's a statue of Jesus and his mother Mary. Giovanni watched in amazement until the singing was over. Then the church emptied of all the people and was darkened except for the bright candles surrounding the lady and the child. Giovanni moved closer. The child in the lady's arms seemed so serious, so stern. Oh, a lady, said Giovanni, I wish I had something to offer too. Your child seems so sad, even with all these beautiful gifts. But wait, I used to make people smile. Giovanni opened his bag and shook out his old costume. Then he put on his clown face, bowed, rolled out the little rug, and began to juggle. First the sticks, then the plates. Next he twirled the plates on the sticks, and then the clubs and rings. The brother Sexton, who was coming in to lock the doors, saw Giovanni juggling. He was horrified. Father, master, he cried, rushing off to get the priest. A sacrilege, come quickly. But Giovanni didn't hear or notice him. And now, said Giovanni, smiling at the face of the child, first the red ball, then the orange, next the yellow, and the green, blue, and violet. Around and up they went, until they looked like a rainbow. And finally, cried Giovanni, the sun in the heavens. The gold ball flew up and around and around, higher and higher. Giovanni had never juggled so well in all his life. Higher and higher, faster and faster. A blaze of color filled the air. It was magnificent. Giovanni's heart was pounding. For you, sweet child, for you, he cried. Then, suddenly, his old heart stopped, and Giovanni fell dead to the floor. The priest and brother Sexton came rushing in. Stooping over old Giovanni, the priest said, Why, the poor clown is dead. May his soul rest in peace. But the brother Sexton backed away, and with his mouth wide open, he stared at the statue of the lady and her holy child. Oh, father, he said, pointing. Oh, father, look. The child was smiling, and in his hand he held the golden ball. The end. I told you it was a special story. Giovanni had a special gift, a talent that he had received from God, and he used his talent to make people happy. Do you have a special talent, too? Maybe you can juggle, or maybe you can paint, or sing, or play a musical instrument. Maybe your special talent is being a really good friend for someone else, or being able to listen, or perhaps you're a peacemaker. Those are special talents, too. God gives us these talents and asks that we, in turn, give back by sharing those talents and blessing the lives of others. I hope that as you explore and find out what your talents are, that you'll be able to do the same thing for others, just as Giovanni did. Well, good night, sleep well, and always remember, Papa loves you.